Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Q, and today we're going to be making some hyper pop vocals. If you guys are already subscribed, welcome back to another episode of Q-Timber. And if you're new here and don't know what Q-Timber is, it's basically a 30-day challenge I did for myself where I just upload every day in September. My name's Q, so Q-Timber. But yeah, if you're still not subscribed, go down, hit that subscribe button, and right next to it is going to be the bell button. And if you hit that bell, you're going to be notified every time I upload, so you're never going to miss an episode of Q-Timber. But anyways, like I said, in today's video, we're doing some hyper pop stuff. So basically, the artists I'm talking about and the artists that I'm trying to sound like in this are basically like Glaive, Eric Doa, Eric Doa, however you want to say it. But yeah, basically, those two stand out the most to me. So that's basically what I'm going to be showing you guys how to do. So there's going to be a few tips and tricks that I'm going to show you guys that definitely makes your vocals stand out and sound a lot like what the hyper pop genre is. So the first thing I did was actually downloaded a hyper pop beat because I just wanted to go for something like really crazy. So I'll show you guys what this beat sounds like, but let's jump into FL Studio and we'll start the vocal tutorial. All right, so here we are in FL Studio and the first thing that I did was of course downloaded this beat and I set the BPM to 164 and I use Autotune. So basically what I do is on the master, I put this plugin called Auto Key, which comes with Autotune and it just detects the key of the song once you start playing it, for example. Detected A major and you can click send to autotune and every autotune plugin that's open right here will automatically get that information. But before we do anything else, I'm just going to show you guys what this actually sounds like so you can decide if you actually want to continue watching the video. But here's what it sounds like. Of course, if you want to cop this preset, it is available at quintababa.com. I'll have the link in the description and the pinned comment, or you could click this little button like right up here. So yeah, I thought this track turned out pretty damn good. Uh, this isn't like a remake of anything. I kind of just made my own track, but uh, let's get started. So basically what you're going to do is when you go to download this, you're going to get this file right here and you're going to unzip it. You just drag this folder to your desktop and you can open this folder. There's going to be three different FSTs in here. You got your lead, your doubles, and your ad libs. And basically what you could do is go into FL Studio. Pull this up, make sure you have your mixer out, and then you just want to drag each one of these onto a separate mixer track. So for example, the lead, boom, you drag it on, loads everything. And when you load this up, you might not have this spot, this spot filled, and that's because I'm using Autotune Pro. But if you want to use a free plugin that FL Studio offers, go to more plugins, type in picture, and you can get this right here, which is FL Studio's version of Autotune. And to fully set this preset up and make sure it's usable, what you're going to do is just set the key of your beat into your autotune and then you drop this menu down right here and select whatever your mic input is. Mine is this one right here, input one. And now you can hear yourself. Let's just turn that off. But once you have that all set up, you're just going to want to click this button right here, which is arm disc for recording. And then you can click this button right here, which is the actual record button, or you can just click R on your keyboard and click spacebar and you are set to record. So now I'll just break down how I actually achieved the sound. So we have our lead, which is right here. This is obviously routed to two, which is the lead track, and it sounds like this. Yeah, fuck that. You had me feeling like I was down bad. And simply put, this is all just compression, autotune, a little bit of EQing. And the main part that makes it sound really like grungy is this fruity wave shaper. And I set it to whatever preset this is and just turn the mix down a little bit, but that's how you get that grungy sound. And then really fill out the track a little bit more. All of these tracks right here are what you call doubles. And basically, I sung each one in like a different tone. Yeah, fuck that. So that one sounds like that. Yeah, fuck that. This is kind of just like a normal one that I redid. Yeah, fuck that. I sung that one at a higher pitch. Yeah, fuck. Then I duplicated that same one over and just panned it a little bit. And when you play all those together, you get a nice like full vocal layer. Yeah, fuck that. You had me feeling like I was down. And another thing you're going to notice is on the double track, I actually have a fruity stereo shaper, which just widens that sound a bit. And pretty much the last thing we have here is just like the ad lib track, which I actually didn't use too much. Kind of just, just emphasize some of the main words like this one. Fuck. And yeah, as you can tell, it's just drenched with reverb and you put all the vocals together and you get a really good sound. I also did this like little reverb effect, which I have a tutorial on. So if you want to go find that, you can, but it's like a reverse reverb swell right in the beginning. Yeah. yeah fuck that. You had me feeling like I was down. And then in a lot of hyper tracks, you have like that glitchy, like vocal, like repeat sound. Sounds like this. I don't ever think. And the way I did that was just cut this up, brought it down here, and just played it two times before it actually goes. I don't ever think that 
said I could come. And then the last important part was I actually did these really high tones that I sung in like really high pitch and I just added it to the ad-lib track and it ended up sounding really cool. It sounds like this. Yeah, that's pretty much it. And then of course there's like a little intro, which I also routed the ad-lib track. Yeah, everything together, you get yourself a full hyperpop track. I'm telling you, this has got to be one of the easiest presets to use. It's just drag and drop and record. I think I did this in literally about 15 minutes with a $100 Audio Technica mic. If you guys even have the slightest bit of a better mic than me, I mean, you're going to sound even better. But yeah, I'll play it for you guys one more time so you can get another idea of what it sounds like. Yeah, one last thing before we go, you might notice that this is a tad bit quiet because it hasn't been mastered yet. So what I'm going to do is show you guys what it would sound like if we applied the Rage Master to this. So I'm going to go file, go to my masters right here, and I have this preset called Rage Master, and it works the same way. If you download it, you're going to get a zip, and all you have to do is drag the FST onto your master channel. So I have that file on my master channel now, and when we play this, you're going to notice that there's some more distortion that really fills out the rest of the song, and it makes it a lot louder. So let's play it. But yeah, guys, that's all I got for this video. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you guys actually want to cop this preset, you already know where to go. Quintababa.com. I'll have the link in the description and the pinned comment. So if you want to grab it there, it's a lot easier. Also, there's a lot more vocal presets on my site. So if you guys are browsing and looking for some more presets, you already know where to go. But yeah, like I said, that's all I got for you guys right now. So I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Deuces. Yeah, I'm done.